How to use Signal's new face blur tool, Android Central. Sometimes when you take a photo with your smartphone to send to someone or post on social media, you may not need or want to include everyone who was captured in the image. Thankfully, Signal, the private messaging app, has added a new built-in face blurring tool that can preemptively detect faces and allows you to manually blur out individuals who you might now wish to expose. We'll show you how to use this feature in the steps below. There may be many reasons why you may not want to include everyone's face in a photo. Perhaps you're at a school event for your kid and you don't want to identify other children for privacy reasons. Or maybe you're attending a rally or political event and you don't want to potentially get someone or yourself in trouble by placing them at a specific place at a specific time. Whatever your reasons may be, it's safe to say that blurring out faces is a feature that can benefit many different people for many different reasons. Tap on the blur icon in the toolbar at the top of the screen, looks like a circle with a plus sign in it. Toggle on the blur faces switch at the bottom of the screen. The app will attempt to detect faces in the photo and blur them. Now, you can send the photo to anyone or post it anywhere and the faces will be blurred out. Alternatively, you can save the image to your device by tapping on the download arrow in the toolbar at the top of the screen. Remember that as long as you are sending messages from Signal to another Signal user. Those messages are end-to-end -end encrypted and can only be opened and read by the sender and receiver. This works like Apple's iMessage. And if both the sender and receiver have Signal, they are protected. Signal does allow Android users to set the app as their default SMS texting app, just know that if you do this, any messages or media you send from Signal to a non-Signal user or SMS app will not be encrypted. One major advantage that Signal has over iMessage is that it works across platforms. Just like WhatsApp, Telegram, and others. However, many security experts claim that Signal is more secure and reliable than those other cross-platform services. Signal is also free, open source, and it is run by the non-profit Signal Foundation. If you and your friends and family don't yet have Signal installed on your smartphones, now is the time to get it. Signal is widely regarded as one of the most secure end-to-end -end encrypted messaging apps with features like face blur, stickers, and audio and video calling. There's really no reason not to have this app on your phone. Following Apple removing Fortnite from its app store and the subsequent announcement of an Epic Games lawsuit against the company, Google seems to have done the same. There's a lot to look forward to with Android 11. But when will your phone actually get it? Here's everything we know. The Google Assistant is the most useful smart voice assistant for getting your questions answered and keeping track of your digital life. But it's also great at helping you control your smart home devices and services. No spam. We promise. You can unsubscribe at any time and we'll never share your details without your permission. Jeremy is proud to help keep Austin weird and loves hiking in the hill country of Central Texas with a breakfast taco in each hand. When he's not writing about smart home gadgets and wearables. He's defending his relationship with his smart voice assistants to his family. You can follow him on Twitter at it Jeremiute. Text source, androidcentral.com.